welcome back to the channel uh, today I uh, just as you see I just built this press it's a 12 ton press which I'm going to be using in this video I'm going to be working on the suspension here suspension parts so they're all rusted and we've got some new bushings we want to put in and we're gonna basically just restore these all, all of these uh, remove all the bushings uh, put new bushings in uh, paint them and then we they should be ready then to be put back onto the mx5 we've got the lower control arms upper upper arms and then these uh hubs which the will not we don't have any new uh brake covers so we don't really need them uh anyway uh we'll just keep cleaning it so but we do have one problem these uh coilovers are seized to the the actual arms themselves so i'm gonna have to figure a way to get these out pull these out as well as you can see i was trying there and the bolt is just spinning so i'm just gonna first off figure out how i'm gonna get these out without hopefully damaging them and then uh, once i get that out we can start pressing out all these uh, bushings and then we can go ahead and start cleaning them all up I was able to get this one off uh, we couldn't get this one off just yet so soaked in WD-40 I'm just gonna let that sit so uh, what's happening when I turn this the rubber on the actual coil is spinning with the bolt so it's seized together um, so we've got to just let it soak in for a bit and then it should be able to get that off but at least this one's came came off for now while I wait for that I'm just gonna go ahead and try and uh, press out these uh, bushings so uh, they are ready for the new ones. So I was having problems with uh, pressing out these, pressing out the bushings that weren't the one coming out. So the bushings on the MX-5, they have uh, rubber on the outside, so it's not metal on metal. It seems to be a lot harder to pull out, so I basically got most of them off anyway, uh, without using the press, I just put them, or just burnt the rubber out, and then all the metal sleeves just fell out. So that was pretty easy, so I just burnt them all. I'm gonna be replacing them all, so I've done all the ball joints falling out as well. Uh, we just need to take out the ball joint sleeves and then we can replace the new ball joints and new bushings so these here are all ready to uh, get cleaned up and painted I still well, haven't been able to remove the uh, coil bolt yet it's proper properly seized to uh, this sleeve with the rubber on the outside so it's it's, it's not working right so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get that out still got a lot more to do I've still got these arms to do so I'm just gonna go ahead take these arms apart Take, get rid of all the rubbish I don't need on it. So then I'll just get all these bushings out, get them all sorted just like these ones, and then I'll try and sort that one out, get that out. If not, I'll just have to, I uh, guess, destroy the bushing on the coil and hopefully find a replacement for that.
was able to get the all the bushings out of the uh, all the arms because I'm going to be replacing them all. I did have a little issue with this one, the uh, bushing and the bolt to connect it to the coilover uh, was all seized and there was no other way. I, I was trying for ages to get it out, but it was taking way too long. So I just uh, decided I'll just cut it up, uh, get the grinder out. So cut in up here, but that should be fine. Uh, so all I have to do is just weld this back up and it should be fine. Shouldn't have any problems with that. Just looks a little bit messy at the minute. Uh, but all the bushings are done. Got all the ball joints out. Uh, I do have new hubs, so we're not going to actually really need these. So we've got new hubs and wheel bearings. Uh, so we're not going to need these. And uh, just the ABS bolts snapped on me. So I'm going to have to drill them, them both out. Same for that one as well. Yeah, it needs uh, drilled out as well, so we're going to do that as well. And go ahead and start cleaning up the uh, all the arms, all the suspension pieces. Get rid of all the flaky rust. put them all with a rust converter and just gonna let them dry uh, so it's gonna take probably about 12 hours for it to completely dry and then uh, once that's dried I can then oh and then I can actually paint it with the final coat so I'm just gonna let this sit for 12 hours let it dry and then we can move on to the actual painting stage of this <laughs> hours later I've got them all they're all dry all the rust converter is dried and I've masked up all the insides where the bushings are so then I can uh, so the paint doesn't get on the inside and affect uh, the, how the bushings get on so the, for the paint I'm going to be using this Upol uh, Gravitex same paint that I used on the uh, on the sills here so the factory finish you can see the difference here from it so we got smooth and then we got the stone chip look here uh, and that's a nice, uh, the closest you'll probably get to a nice factory finish uh, to match this here. Uh, and then I put on the base coat and then a clear coat. So for the suspension parts, I'm just, I think I'm just going to use this stuff. Oh, I'm going to be using this stuff with this gun. And um, we're going to, we can got a pressure gauge as well so we can adjust the pressure. Uh, the P PSI, so we'll probably be going to like 40 PSI on this. Uh, which it says on the label of this that we should be going to.
pieces goated with the uh, Gravitech stuff. So now it's uh, I've let it sit dry, sit and dry, pretty much dry now. So I can go ahead and I'm going to be clear coating it now. Decided because it's kind of looked the paint looks a bit like grey rather than or matte grey rather than black so the clear coat should sort that make it look uh, glossy black and it will also be an added protection so we've got 2k clear here that I'm gonna mix up and just so I'm just gonna go mix that up and hopefully we should get a nice finish I brought the painted arms in here to dry overnight because uh, uh, it was probably going to rain outside. See, so yeah, I brought them all in over here, and we got some uh, dangling over there as well. Oh, but that's about it for that's all I'm going to be doing today. Um, once it's completely dry, uh, we can remove the masking tape and put in the new bushings. But before we do all that, we've still got the actual hubs itself we need to clean up and I didn't get a chance to remove the broken bolts from the ABS uh, brackets so we'll have to remove them at some point and then we've got to clean up these uh, rear hubs as well we'll be doing that in a different video so we will once we've got them sorted uh, we'll be able to put in all the new bushings uh, same for these add in the new bushings for all that new ball joints and everything's going to be pretty much new so that's about it for this video in the next video, I'm hoping to get the fuel lines back into the MX-5, uh, wire up the engine, uh, add in any, or bolt everything up completely, as well as the gearbox here. We want to get that mounted as well, so we have a lot more space in the garage to work with. And then this here is the pile we still got to put on <coughs> and clean up. It's getting smaller and smaller though, so we're getting closer and closer to it being complete. Uh, but that's about it for this video. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and don't forget to leave a comment You leave a like and, and I'll see you in the next one